So a while back, I was looking for a better and more streamlined way to texture paint inside Blender. And I came across a lot of comments on Reddit and forums and such saying just use Substance Painter. That's what most people use. And while I agree with that sentiment that Substance Painter is a great tool, not a lot of people can afford that. It's almost, for some countries, $50 a month just for a texturing program alone. And I don't know about you, but I feel like that is a little bit much, especially considering it's a monthly fee. And I was just looking around to see if there, is there any good options there? And my expectations weren't really that high, but I was actually amazed when I found this tool. It's called Has Paint Layers, and it makes texture painting so much easier just with a few buttons. And hold on before you pause the video, I want to just show you how easy it is to actually use with just a few buttons. So I'm going to pop into Blender and the first thing you can do is you can drag and drop the add-on into Blender and just hit OK. Then you're going to find on the right side, you're going to find has paint layers in the tabs. Once you open that, all you got to do is click set up material and then set up scene. Hit OK. And then most of it is already done. I'm also going to change the map to unlit. This is basically an emission shader. And we can also use diffuse alpha so we get that opacity or see through. Make sure your object is unwrapped. And then let's go into texture paint mode and then start to texture paint. All you have to do is add a new layer. I'm going to change color here. As you can see, we can already paint and it's so much faster than doing it manually. And we also have a bunch of tools that we can use, for instance, like adding a new layer. If you want to change between layers, you simply click on the little square there. I was not showing up because I wasn't in the right viewport. There we go. So there's a lot of cool functionalities with this tool, but obviously the main one is we have layers and these layers you can hide just like any drawing program. And this is great, especially if you're doing like logos or small detail work and you don't want to have them on the same layer. There's also functions like quick edit and then masking and we can also bake, etc. You can also add a fill layer and all kinds of different layers. PBR is more like non-anime. And then we can also add these folders. As well, there's a ton of layer actions that you can add filters and we can duplicate layers, etc. It comes with some other functionalities like we can export the layers and export the textures. I haven't gotten this to work just yet, but um, the way I usually do it, I just go into the UV space and then export it after having collapsed all the layers. So you just go into UV layout there and then click save. And if you want to collapse all layers, you just click this little button right here. And there you go. And as you can see, if we add diffuse alpha, we actually get that see through. And this makes it really easy compared to normal, normally in Blender where you have to set up a bunch of nodes to make this happen. And that's going to make it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this showcase of has paint layers and be sure to leave a comment to let me know what you think and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one.